Hello everyone, my name is Gerardo Gamber. Um, unfortunately, this entire few episodes, uh, there was an audio problem, so I am going to be narrating, for the most part, about what's going on. So, basically I was doing my little intro here, talking about how screwed we were out in the wilderness, and um, how we need to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, we basically had left off in a very rough position. We died many times, and we're out here in the middle of a charred wasteland. There's tons of zombies around, so I had to take, you know, I had to take stock of what I had, what items I had on me. Um, and, you know, I was managing rough rifling through, grabbing a weapon to try to clear out some zombies. I really wanted to see what was in this building, and hopefully there would be guns. And as a matter of fact, there were guns, um, as you will see here in a moment. Again, I have to apologize for these audio errors. My headset likes to sometimes forget that it's on. And I'm motioning right now like I have a webcam. You can't see that. But anyways, um, yeah, my headset has this little indicator light. And half of my, half of my audio issues come from that. Um, so let me turn down the volume on the video here, because I am actually watching it while I narrate, so I know what the hell I'm doing, otherwise I'll be talking around like... So we're killing zombies, and... You know, I'm not liking this position. I was commenting here about how I miss the feral zombies. Um, like, the way, the way they used to look. They were really, really, really gross-looking and terrifying. And I'm hoping they bring them back. Why not? Um, but yeah, you know... At some point, I do question why I'm killing so many zombies. When I look around, I notice there are, there are twice as many as I thought there were. And they just keep coming out of the house. So I'm going to make a run for it here in a moment, up those stairs. And as you can see, I'm debating whether or not I should <laughs> uh, get a couple of whacks on this girl, because I think she's pretty. Was pretty. Run up the stairs, and time to loot. Oh, yeah. I get stuck on that, and I debate if I should break through the windows... Honestly, I have no idea why I did that. And now I get a nasty surprise with a zombie dog. For good measure, I'm just breaking everything because I'm angry. <laughs> um, trying to be an opportunist, trying to grab as many things as I can. This dog is back, and at this point I'm begging the dog to stop. <laughs> uh, that won't be the last time I run into a dog. <sighs> now, this is... It's irritating to look back at this footage because there was so much I talked about. I even talked about channel updates and things, and many things I cannot remember at this point. But, as you will find, that I do have a lot of items. I do have a lot of things crafted. And I'm going to tell you right now, spoilers, I do very well for the next few episodes. I do incredibly well. It looks bad now. I put down a uh, bed there to make sure that I could, in fact, um, spawn if I need to, if I die, and run back in and grab all my stuff. Now, I'm going to find out later in these series, that you, obviously you're going to find out now, since I'm narrating it, that um, they changed bed spawning, or at least, I don't... Um, or at least I don't know if they changed options with bed spawning, but as far as I'm able to dis to, to figure out for myself, um, I in fact had... I'm giving this dog a hell of a fight. Um, I in fact have only one bed I can have at any time. One spawn. So that spawn area there will vanish eventually, and I'll put spawn area in two other locations, and I'll find out. Whoops! I can only spawn in one location! Now, I think they did that on purpose, because... I don't know, actually. I honestly don't know why they did that. Maybe it was because there was some sort of memory clog or something like that. I have no idea. But it makes the game effectively harder. You can't have outposts that you can just teleport to if you want to. In a way, you have teleportation. If you just kill yourself, you spawn in a new location. They wanted to prevent that, I think. And um, this effectively does that. You have to spawn wherever your bed is. That, or you spawn wherever the hell the game decides to put you. Uh, so, I'm going to be leaving this area and heading out, looting everything as I go along, and I don't really have much of an idea of where I'm going. I, at some point, I do decide the gas station, but then I realize, a little too soon, that that's not the gas station. That is a church. 
in a very bad place to be, <laughs> mind you. However, however, as bad as it is, at this point I realized it was a church and I'm a little miffed. Um, as bad as it is, I make the decision to build a house nearby, a little ways off the beaten track into the woods. There's a lot of resources in the woods, and with the church no, nearby, we've got a lot of wood we can deconstruct from it. We've got a lot of concrete. There's uh, tons of loot containers under the ground, you know, in coffins. And I decide blasting into this hill will be the best option. This is actually going to pay off for me. And... So we're going to shoot it here. And I'm marveling, too, at, at how amazing it looks when you break into the ground now. Like, this is really cool. I can't wait for them to fix buildings. This game will just melt you, like, <laughs> in every good place. You, you're looking at it, you'd be like, oh, God, it looks so delicious. A game is delicious. That's exactly what I'm saying here. A video game can look delicious. So, yeah blasting hole, and at one point I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned about the amount of noise that I'm generating, so, you know, whatever. I figure, you know, it's do or die now. I've already wasted two barrels on that. Might as well continue. While the daylight is out, we have to get working, and <laughs> I'm trying to drop a tree, and it's not working. They, they had to fix the detection on that, but yeah, I'm gonna gather a lot of resources. I'm gonna build myself a nice little base. A shaft going down, and I'm build a little hut above that, and from there I will start expanding, you know, into the ground. Uh, more or less, I am not getting a lot of resistance at this point, and I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised because I live right across the street from the church, which has a lot of zombies. It's, it's one of the more deadly places to go, and for a lot of nothing, really. Churches don't usually have anything in them in some days to die, so I was really surprised there's only one or two zombies just hanging around the local area, and they they're not very frequent either. So this is actually an ideal spot to be, and I'm again very surprised. So I have several zombies come to visit me here, and I'm gonna take care of them. Whoa, there she goes down, down in the underground. Um, so right here, I'm trying to collect some loot. Because I might as well. They're giving me free containers, basically. I just killed them, and bam, I can loot them. The spider zombie. That won't be the last spider zombie here. And it's funny, since several series ago, we didn't have many uh, spider zombies. <laughs> and now we're getting them all. Like, literally all of them. Um, so we're going to loot this cheerleader. We're going to go back up and finish off that zombie. And there is another zombie in the vicinity. But it has not really paid much attention to us. We'll knock him in the head. We're just gonna crunch. And yeah, uh, I don't want to abuse the whole fast looting as much as I just did there. Um, it's actually accidental. I'm double pressing. I'm not used to the whole you have to wait to loot kind of thing. I've never really played games that do that. So, what you can do is you can glitch it, you can fast loot the zombies. And it's kind of silly, really. Um, you know, you, you go to loot them, and then you just click it off. You, you, you basically cancel your loot, and you go to loot again. And because you've already looted that zombie, it lets you loot instantaneously. So we are, in fact, going to take out this other zombie. And she is a bit of a witch. She doesn't want to die. There we go. Yeah, and I made a, a funny little comment there about how she made it easy for us, so saying how beautiful she was, and then she just... Yeah, I can't say that. <laughs> That's kind of borderline right there. But it was it was very humorous in the moment, and it's unfortunate that the footage was corrupt. So about this point, 
You know, I've been gathering supplies, and I'm trying to remove as many threats to my base as I can. There are quite a few zombies, and... The last thing you want is for them to be roaming around your base as it becomes nighttime. Because then they'll start running around at very high speeds trying to kill you. Um, and about here, I'm trying to make room in my inventory. At this point, it's more inventory management that I'm mostly concerned about. The zombies, not so much, because they're either going to rush out of the church and kill me, or they're not. So, it's struggling to find the room and, and craft things as I go. And at this point, I do have enough materials to create ladders. So that is what I'm getting to work on now. It's the only reason I jumped into a hole that I can't otherwise get out of. And for the first night, it's going to be a little scary. Um, I'm not going to have the ability to properly uh, <laughs> barricade myself in. This hole is either going to be our grave or it's going to be our house. And this will actually pay off. It's not easy and there's a lot of sitting around doing nothing. I do find out later on that the bag, in fact, every time I open my bag and close it, it does cause a lot of noise, more than it says it does. So, a few times, I'll attract zombies. A few other times, I won't. Um, but moreover, I start to be more cautious about my behavior when I'm underground. And I'm going to do more blasting, as it is. I, I've got to do more digging. Um, I don't have it yet, but I do end up crafting another pickaxe. I do have one pickaxe, actually, that I'm looking at here. Wow. <laughs> I shot this, and I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, I have a pickaxe, so I'm going to be doing some digging, but I will be crafting more pickaxes as you know I go through. My goal here is to create a sustainable base. Um, and I have to say, this is this felt like the biggest victory for me than I've ever had before. Just because of how hard it is now to survive. I have changed the settings on the games slightly, and every time you switch them, it seems the game finds ways to compensate for that. It tries to F you over. And it's difficult. It is difficult. This game is not easy. They've changed it for, in many ways, the better... But at the same time, it's going to really test your ability as a player. So here I'm debating where I should put the ladders and what I should do. And it's getting dark and I'm getting a little edgy here. But, you know, that's the thing. That's homesteading 101. <laughs> this is our new home and we've got to make it that. I decided to just leave that there. I don't really care. I have a little bit of greenery in the house. Why not? Now, I obviously can't narrate all of this. I don't really have the software to properly do this. So, I am going to be narrating in certain sections here. I'm not going to leave you completely in the dark, but for the most part, it is a pain in my ass to sit through this footage and hours of it and do it all over again. Uh, this was several episodes I recorded in one sitting. And I even did intros, outros. And that is the worst part, because I timed it so well, and I come back, and all the footage doesn't have audio. Which is a problem. Um, so, please forgive me for that. I'm definitely going to have to keep, you know, an eye out on my recorder. It, when it happens, you know, you never expect it. You never do. I never thought I'd have that issue again. It wasn't Fraps this time. It was my headset, which is a great headset. But it decides it doesn't want to be on. It Like, I'll put it in to my computer, and it will either be on or it won't. But the funny thing is, I can't tell unless I actually look at the indicator light for the microphone, because the microphone is what turns itself on and off. So, you know, I just, I'm a little, a little pissed off at that.
So I'm here in the dark, and I'm just, I'm hearing everything moving around. There's animals, and occasionally I'll hear a zombie in the distance, and it gets a little nerve-wracking, because that's open. That is open. There's nothing stopping zombies from jumping down, and I'm so nervous. <laughs> At the same time, I, I use a lot of this time to talk about the channel and things I'm doing, including possibly doing a live uh, live stream with my friends and Cry of Fear and more Cube World. I will be doing more Cube World. Um, but yeah, I basically wanted to sh discuss a few things. That's really what this footage is, is discussing things and... Unfortunately, it loses its effect, but I'm leaving it in here anyways, and now I'm discussing new things. So I will be doing more Cube World videos, more State of Decay, things like that, and I I get more and more nervous. I really get paranoid here, because I don't like it. It's such a bad place to be, with an open roof. So, I keep hearing animals running around, and it was funny, at one point, a little rabbit had jumped on my base, and he'd scampered across the wood, but because animals and zombies all sound like player footsteps, it was like two feet going, tu, 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 tu. and I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. It was very silly. Um, now, that footage is not actually in here. I was commenting on it at this point, but... There, as you can see on the mini-map, there is, in fact, a little rabbit near me, uh, running around. And, you know, this was a very uncomfortable first night. That's generally how it is in these games. Like Minecraft, your first Minecraft shelter is not going to be comfortable. I mean, if you're in the jungle biome and you climb a giant tree, yeah, you might be a little bit more comfortable than you actually are, but... In a state of decay... Uh, sorry, seven days to die, things can change very quickly... Uh, this game is just crazy. Crazy strong zombies and scary things just pop out of nowhere. Now, I had actually planned on ending the episode on the previous clip, but considering the way things are, I think you guys deserve a little bit more footage, so I'm going to continue narrating here for this next portion, and this will be the last clip <laughs> here of this episode. Uh, I'm sorry about the informality. This this episode, it's good footage, and I was having a lot of fun doing it, but honestly, it ruined itself because of the audio glitch. And um, So here I'm assessing my situation. I've built my structure, and I want to get a roof up. This day, as the sun goes up, I want to get a roof up here. So I'm debating on how I should best do that. And I'm trying to wait, you know, wait for the right moment. I'm looking over there, and I can see the hill. And that's a little scary, because the zombies walking over that hill, they'll see me. And, uh, of course, building on your base makes a tiny bit of sound, too. And I've got to assess all those options. I was really concerned about this hill the entire time that I filmed. I was so obsessed about the hill that it was going to end up... You know, a zombie was going to come running down the hill and jump into my base the entire time. And it's not a good place. It's not a good place because they could just walk right over my base. Um, mining helmet really helps, though. This thing, I love it. I love the mining helmet so much. It's really helped me out. Uh, so, yeah, we're currently trying to get things situated. And I want to reinforce the base in more stone, but I'm running out of stone and... There's so many things to do, so I figure the best thing to do is make a proper entryway and reinforce some of the sides. I can't reinforce them all, but reinforce some of them. In hindsight, I probably should reinforce the side facing the church, but I didn't. Um, that's a risk I took, and yeah, I take a few risks in this episode that I really shouldn't. But, you know, in the end... If it pays off, it pays off. And so far, we're doing really good. We've got a base. You know, we can actually go down there and survive the night. As long as I'm careful, as long as I'm quiet, nothing bugs me. So I'm going to chop some trees here. I'm going to get some more wood. And once we chop those trees, once we get everything situated, we'll be good to go. Um, 
So thank you so much for watching. This is where I'm ending this video. And again, I'm sorry. The next few episodes will have commentary like this. Uh, let me know what you think about it. My name is Garrett Oakamber, and I will see you next time.